In today's episode of Did You Know With Dan, I'm going to show you how to rotate a sink and align it to a countertop that may not have come in at 90 degrees. I'll use offset to offset the front edge for the sink setback. I'll use 3 inches and I'll make sure that offset as geometry is not checked because I want this to come out on the construction layer. Geometries on the construction layer will be easier to remove later when needed. And now I can go to the Home tab where I'll find Insert. Then I can browse to where I've saved my sink. Then I can select it and choose Open. And since my sink was properly saved, as was shown in the sink editing video, I already have the base point selected as the middle of the bottom edge of the sink. And I want to set that on the middle or midpoint of the reference line. Now I can rotate it counterclockwise to an unknown degree. So I can go to Rotate and select the sink to be rotated and then Finish. And for the base point of my rotation, I'll select the middle of the bottom edge of the sink, which is also the middle of the reference line. And instead of typing in an angle as asked on the command line, I'll simply rotate this point and snap it to the end of my reference line. So I pressed my F6 key to enable endpoint of. And then I can click on the end of my reference line before I click OK to accept one copy. And now the bottom of my sink is rotated perfectly on top of my construction line. This extra white X is displaying the end of it. You can delete that construction line however you'd like. I'm going to use the clear memory function which can be found under the Home tab. Go to the Home tab and then choose Clear Memory. Then you can choose Construction Lines and click OK. This will remove or delete all construction lines throughout the entire drawing. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service? To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.